Hello, my name is James. I'm a portrait photographer from Portsmouth in the UK. You've probably not heard of me and I welcome you to this, the latest video on the Portrait of the Rest of the YouTube series. We'll be taking a step away from our usual content this week. Um, just have a little look at something a little bit special. Um, recently, I sat down and watched uh, The Last Dance, the uh, Michael uh, Jordan and Chicago Bulls documentary on Netflix, uh, which is a, just ge genuinely the, the greatest sports documentary ever made. Um, completely uh, able to watch it as a non-basketball fan and completely understand um, the, the the story and the narrative throughout and it's just a wonderful wonderful piece of filmmaking there's so much intimate um, footage that's decades old there and, um, and and it just really tells a wonderful wonderful story of, of uh, sort of success and failure and struggle and all those sorts of things um, but there's one minute one, one, one moment in it for me um, in the last episode um, that features um, a still image. And I just want to talk to you today a little bit about the power of the still image. Towards the end of this documentary in the last episode, uh, there's, a, there's a game where they're playing uh, Away to Utah Jazz, which is a must win game. And um, there's a moment in it where Jordan steals the ball and, and, and runs up court and, um, and takes a shot with sort of six seconds left to, to win the game, essentially. And um, this shot is caught on all of the numerous video cameras and all of the different angles and, and all those all those different things. But what struck me about this moment is this one of the few moments in the documentary where they they cut in a still image. And the still image was shot by a basketball photographer by the name of Fernando Medina uh, on behalf of Getty's images. Um, and it's just such a stunning shot and it was such a lovely edit in the documentary, which is so, which is so vast and expansive and covers so much territory and so much time, um, but this one moment for me, with the with the with the use of editing in the build up to it, really hammered home the importance of still image and the fact that still image, in my mind, is still king in terms of freezing a moment in time, in terms of creating something that you can garner a narrative from in a single frame. And specifically in sport, a single frame that cannot be repeated. This moment in sport will never be repeated again. And to, to, the timing on it is perfect, but the expressions of the narrative in the background of all of the people um, is just wonderful. And it's just something I wanted to share with you today. We're just gonna have a look at it now um, on, on the feed and, and, and see how it's cut in and just, just see how it, how, it, how it looks. And um, I just love the little lad in the vest uh, cheering Jordan on. Uh, it's just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful use of still image and a reminder um, of its power in, in, in explaining a narrative. That shot, you could just hear Look at the, uh, it's just, just right out of the building. so much detail, so much power, a complete moment that can never be replicated. And that, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Devastated fans. And it reminds us what we've you know missed, I suppose, with regards to with regards to sport, with regards to you know, with regards to live sport and with regards to excitement and escapism and all those sorts of things. But the power of the still image in amongst this this multi episodic documentary that features around this exclusive intimate video library of footage that's decades old that takes us behind the scenes and 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 they've made a real effort in the videography to capture moments that aren't normally caught on camera to really focus on the finer details and yet in amongst all of that the strongest thing in the whole documentary for me is that image. The narrative behind that image, the narrative of 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 of, of, of Jordan front and centre but with his back to camera shooting mid-air, ball in the air, clock help uh, clock in the middle helping the narrative as well. And all of those faces, all of those faces with the expressions and that one kid perfectly on the rule of thirds as well within it. Um, that one kid celebrating in amongst all of those fans who are just utterly distraught and showing all those range of negative emotions. And that's what, and that's why for me, 
photography will always have a place in documentary and in storytelling. Photography is a really unique thing in capturing moments that cannot be replicated, capturing moments in time. And, and also the, the definition of less is more. So within all of these hours of footage, within all of this cut and edited material set to music and sound bites and talking heads, a single still image for me is the, is the, is the most powerful thing. And, um, and what a joy, what a joy to, what a joy to see it there.